Oh, hello friends. Welcome. Welcome to the beautiful Coromandel. We're starting this vlog in Medias Res. We're already here in Cathedral Cove. We're spending the next three days exploring the beautiful Coromandel Peninsula, which we haven't been to in, in many, many moons. We're gonna be showing you what we get up to, what we eat in the Coromandel Peninsula, and hopefully you find these vlogs useful as well when you head over here. So, let's get going. At a vulnerable moment. Oh my, that was. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact: the first and last time we went to the Coromandel, it was so windy that <gasps> I cried <laughs> because I had motion sickness. Because I was like, I'm in pain, but not today. Down the road from like the main Tyroa Information Center is this, this place called Two Tides. Um, Two Tides Bakery. Yeah, we're very hungry. It's very early in the morning. Just got some pies. Obviously, had to get a coffee. I got a beautiful uh, chicken and mushroom pie. Oh, very nice. Obviously, they know me, so they got a bacon and egg. Yeah, I. My favorite. It. And obviously, it's breakfast, so you know. Because we're best friends. All right, I'm just gonna take a bite. Oh. Not just straight up. That was, just, that was, yeah, that was just pastry. But how's it? The pastry is decent. I wouldn't say it's the greatest, but it's decent. But the filling is good. But yes, first stop is this really lovely town called Tairua. And one, one of the main attractions to do in this town is this... this it kind of looks like a nipple, to be honest. It's called Mount Pakuyu. It's, it's very prominent when you see driving through the area. Apparently, it has like, some really nice views of the Carmandel. The sun's in my eyes. I better get out of this. My, my head's going to tan unevenly again with my completely pale white body. So let's go. Mighty fine view, if I do say so myself. So we made it up to Mount Paku. I think it's a 10 to 15 minute walk. It's just like a steep, steep incline. There's some stairs which will help you out, but you are rewarded. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's, that's a very good view. You got some like islands in the distance. You can even see like the pinnacles. Uh, the pinnacles is like a really nice day trip that people do. Also, this used to be a volcano. Like I said, looked like a, like a very swollen nipple. Like the road does most of the work for you anyway. So, so why not? Why not head here to Mount Paku? Oh my, paid parking, what the? Four dollars an hour, oh my goodness. All right, next stop, we're here at a beautiful, beautiful hot water beach. Obviously hot water beach is famous for, you know, the, the dig your own hot spas that you can do. I don't think we're gonna be doing that today because firstly, I can't be bothered doing manual labor in my holiday. Secondly, we don't have a, we have, we don't have a shovel or a bucket. Thirdly, we don't even have the time. We have to go check into our hotel later. But yeah, basically there are two hot springs here that are accessible around two hours each side of the low tide. And what you do is just, you just dig a hole as deep as you can. Some hot water will come bubbling through your, your, your sand hole. And you have yourself your own, make your own hot water spa. I'm sure it's very relaxing if you do it. If you had, like, if you had more time as well to relax, in this beautiful beach. And it's always a nice stop here at Hot Water Beach, even though we're not doing it ourselves, you know? So, um, we ran into a bit of a pickle. I didn't know this. Dare I say it's been almost a decade since we've been to the Coromandel. And there's usually a parking lot. It's called the Grange Road parking lot at the very start of the Coromandel walk of the Cathedral Cove walkway. But apparently it's been it's been closed all summer for many years now. So what you actually have to do is you either walk from the Hahe Town Center, which is like an hour and 20 minute 
walk each way, which we don't really have time for because we have like a 3 o'clock appointment somewhere else. So we're in the bus shuttle right now, which takes you directly to that car park. It's $7 per person, but like, we'll take the L because we need to save some time right now. It's like, it goes every 20 minutes each way, so yeah, just don't make our mistake and uh, plan beforehand and check the parking requirements. All right, we are well on our way to Cathedral Cove and from the parking lot to Cathedral Cove, it's a 45 minute walk one way, so like an hour 30 each way. And it's kind of nice because you can see Cathedral Cove from there. You know, you love a walk where you can see the destination. Hi. I don't know, Yami's behind me and has got her sun hat. She's well protected. <laughs> you like my hat, it's not mine. Nice, nice hat. <laughs> It's like that scene in Narnia, you know? It's like, train, 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 and they're in the subway. They're in the subway. Turkish dinner. <gasps> We're in Narnia. I, don't even, I haven't watched I, it in yeah, so I haven't long. seen it, but I, apparently this is in the second movie, and um, my fellow fan girlies for Prince Caspian. <laughs> <laughs> So Yambi, what do you reckon? What do you reckon about that um, that erosion, the power of nature? You know, what was once a little crack in some soft rock, through time and and sheer force of nature, has been carved into this beautiful cathedral cove. How beautiful is that? Shout out to God. Yeah. God's work. Speaking of which, as nice as this rock is. One day it will fall down. Maybe in a few million years. Best friend, I remember one of my Facebook DPs I shot in that tree. Let's recreate it. So I thought I looked real edgy, right? Like leaning against the wood, you know? Like 12, 13 year old me was like, yo, that's cool. He really said model. I think that's how it went. I'm just going through the poses just to see how it matches, you know? All right, that was Cathedral Cove, a very brief visit to Cathedral Cove. Really wish we had more time, but you know, beautiful as always. But as mentioned, we are a bit in a, of a, in a time crunch. So we're just trying to hurry up back to the parking lot, catch the bus back to the park and ride and go to Coromandel. Well, friends, we finally arrived in Coromandel Town. Oh, so hungry. That that gravelly road was so windy, and then we just we just went we just like crawled into town looking for something to eat. I just saw kebab. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I need some I need some kebab sustenance. So we just got like some rice and mixed meats. Let's eat. Can we just appreciate this plate? Oh my. That is a very welcome sight. All right, my stomach was starting to grumble. Literally all I've had to eat today was some chips, hot cross bun this morning, a pie which was all right, and a coffee. So I'm running on junk, but this is, this is a welcome sight. Yeah, I think we just got the chicken and the lamb mixed kebab with like garlic aioli and other sauces. First time having rice today. First time having like a sustaining meal with actual veggies and dare I say nutrition. You just cannot beat, you know, like kebab and rice, some hummus, some veg. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm kidding.
Hello, dinner. Ah. Choo choo, friends. We are here at a Driving Creek Railway, our final stop in the day. So honestly, I'm just here to experience it because I have actually no idea what's going to happen. I just know that it's a, it's a dainty little uh, narrow gauge train across the, the mountains and the forest. I'm very excited. I do love me some... I do love me some trains and some public transport, so let's experience it. Let's go. Okay, now Driving Creek Railway might have just been one of the most unexpectedly amazing, enjoyable, and relaxing activities we've done in recent memory. It's $37 for adults and $15 for kids, which buys you the most relaxing 1 hour and 15 minute journey via a cute narrow gauge train twisting and turning up some gorgeous native bush. Throughout the journey, you'll go through tunnels and double-decker bridges and pass by quirky sculptures and wine bottle walls and gorgeous views before finally arriving at the top at the cheekily named Eiffel Tower. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Eiffel Tower, yes. So, rate this attraction. 10. <laughs> Why, huh? Uh, it just makes you feel good, you know? Lack of physical activity. Yeah. Cooling <laughs> breeze. It's shaded crazy. path. Yeah. yeah, it makes me feel like a kid again. This has got to be one of the most fun activities we've done in New Zealand in recent memory and honestly, after a long day of driving, walking and baking in the sun, Driving Creek Railway really catapulted us to peak relaxation. The train driver really did a good job telling entertaining stories and anecdotes along the way as well. I won't spoil much for you because I really want you guys to come experience this for yourselves. I would do this again without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, that's when you're leaving, huh? That was an experience. <laughs> Choo-choo, hop on aboard. All aboard the Locavore Express. We're heading to Labor Town. <laughs> you know what's for dinner? No. There it is. <laughs> Yeah. Pumpkin. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hello, dog. You can't see the dog in the camera, but it can smell my hot cross buns. All right, finally at the Airbnb. Oh, you know what, fine, I'll... So there's two like Airbnb um dogs. I forgot what this guy's name is. Oh, see, <laughs> you can smell the hot cross buns. Come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. I know you want some hot cross buns, but I, I can't, get... oh, I know, I know. I have my Good old filter coffee from from Deer Deer, one of my favorite favorite um, coffee roasters. The dog's still here, by the way, in Auckland. Beans from Kenya, apparently, really good. And also, like the only hot cross buns that matter to us in Auckland, these are from Ima Cuisine in Fort Street in the city. Uh, what I, what I really love about these hot cross buns as well is like, you know you know how hot cross buns they have like the cross, but it's always some like flavorless paste. But Ima actually puts some effort into it and puts a custard in it and it's loaded with like citrus and stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's really good. Like the citrus coming through. The raisin. Oh my god, the dog like licking its lips. I, I can't, I don't know what, I don't know what to feed you. I'm surprised you haven't gotten up. Yeah, like, yeah I, I was hanging out with Jesse. The whole time. Remember Pusheen and Santorini? Yeah. Uh, check out our Santorini videos. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see that? <gasps> oh my goodness, there's two of them now. <laughs> it is officially dinner time, and that also means the end. Come here, Yanbi. Oh, I know you're. <laughs> She's too busy playing with the dog, but I need her for the outro. Hi. Anyway, I'm just here chilling with my long and long log without the 
Elon. See, nang ag. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we even brought vinegar to the trip. Comment down below your favorite Elon. <laughs> Wait, what is it called? What do you call it? Oh. <laughs> no, I I know it's your, not. I know it's not called that. I was just joking. Your favorite river. <laughs> your favorite Elon. Oh, is that what river is? Fabian, I'm very. Comment down below what's your favorite elog. I, I know that is not what it's called. I was Mine joking. is the Marikina elog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it called again? Elog. What's your favorite sea log? My one is tossy log. My one is long sea log, but tossy log is a close second. Yeah. I know top sea log is the most popular, but it's probably like one of the three main ones. It's our least. Comment down below. I'm engaging. <laughs> you hate our audience. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video gave you an insight as well into traveling around the Coromandel and the stuff that you can do. Definitely, like, we didn't do everything that you can do in the Coromandel since we have one day, since, since this is why it's part of, like, a three-part series. So watch out for the next two videos. Thank you guys for watching another one of our food and travel videos here in the Coromandel Peninsula. And we'll see you tomorrow with another great video from the Coromandel. Oh my, who the? Come here. There's three. Wait, who is that? <laughs>